Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come with a video of these vegan nachos that I've um, made at the beginning of my journey to like change my lifestyle, my, my uh, eating lifestyle, my, my health overall. So I have a video um, of this cheese sauce. This is what I'm making right here with the carrots, potatoes, and onions. Um, but before I get into that, I wanted to say that as of today, I have lost like around 10 pounds and it's been about a month since I shot this video and it was all from eating like this. Um, if you saw the picture in the beginning, that was the nachos and it was all made out of these vegetables that I'm, I'm showing you. Um, these roasted cashews is not something that I would normally use. I actually use um, raw cashews, which I do have on hand right now. But like I said, I just wanted to start eating right. And this is what I did. Those walnuts to the side. I'm sorry, those pecans. Um, that was going to be my meat. But I'm just going to show you here all of the seasonings that I am going to use for the cheese sauce. But let's just talk about my lifestyle change. I had gotten to the point to where I was a little um, ashamed of my body. Um, I've always been considered to have like, if you guys can see my air quotes, a nice body, a nice shape. And um, I know I'm, I'm in my late 40s now and I know things change, but I got on a scale and if I told y'all what I weighed, oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. To, I mean, I'm embarrassed right now to even say it. So that was actually on, I think it was Christmas, Christmas Day, maybe, that I got on that scale. I don't know if it was Christmas Day or was it New Year's? I can't remember, but um, it was one of those days. So it, was a, it was only a week in between. But when I got on the scale and I tell you that I was just embarrassed, I was disgusted with myself to the point to where um, I knew that I had to make a lifestyle change. Um, let me interrupt my story right now. I'm tasting this cheese and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, it's kind of watery. Y'all see those cashews over on the side? I forgot to add the cashews. <laughs> That's the whole thing with this. this. This is supposed to be cashew cheese. But anyway, let's get back to the story. So once I get stepped on that scale, on top of me looking at myself, um, I can tell you like over the last maybe six or seven years I have been going through something that I don't even know how to explain um on, on, on another video I'll explain like everything that I've been going through over the last seven years that probably got me to this point of me um gaining weight and it was a bit of de of a depression but I didn't know that I was going through a depression. Um, another side note, this is my um, pecans that I soaked. This is gonna be my meat for the nachos. And if I would have been thinking at first, I would have chopped these up first um, in the blender, but I made the cheese first and I wasn't about to take that, that cheese out of there to do this, so I just did it by hand. But anyway, I'm just doing this voiceover telling you guys about why um, I'm starting to be vegan again. I don't know if you got how long, whoever's watching this right now, how long you've been subscribed to my channel. But when I first started my channel, I, I used to live like a holistic lifestyle. Um, even when I ate meat, everything was like organic and, um, you know, like farm raised, grass fed, whatever. So... Um, and then I became vegan and I, and we, my whole family was vegan for like about three, like three or four years. And this is back in the YouTube days, like probably like 2011, 2012, something like that. So it's been a long time, but I had a downfall in there and I was, I am not proud of it at all. So now I am actually trying to change my ways and change back to what I know it, um, it was a verse in the Bible. I don't know if it was in the Bible or was it just a saying, but I think it was in the Bible 
where we're saying like when you go back out and you do something, it's like seven times 70 worse or something like that. If you know, if you know it, leave a comment and let me know if you know what I'm talking about or where I can find it. But um, that's how I felt when I went back to eating wrong, doing doing wrong. And as far as um, my eating habits went and my, you know, my lifestyle in general, um, I saw. I mean, when I came back this time, it was it was really like worse trying to get my life back. Sorry if you hear my grandson in the back. But um, anyway, I am. Um, this is not like a new year, new me. Um, I'm not trying to lose weight um, and then end up gaining it back in a few. This is not about weight at this time. This is at this is about my health. I could also tell that some things was happening with me um, physically, like in my body. And that's something that I wanted to change. So from this point on, on my channel, I'm going to be back to like the 2011, 2012 me where I'm living a holistic lifestyle again. Um, so you're going to be seeing more um, of me growing my own food, more of me making my own remedies like I used to back. If you guys go back to some of those videos from from 10, 12 years ago, I'm going to go back to that again. Let me tell you about these chips, though. These are 313 chips. Um, you know, I am I live in Michigan, and De I don't live in Detroit, but I live in the suburbs of Detroit, and that's where the 313 area code come from. But these are some great chips. If you can, just, like, pause, and you can read what I was just trying to show you. Of um, These chips are made locally, and they are um, great, like... When I try to eat other chips now, they taste um, like a chemical is in them or something. Is, it, it just doesn't taste right but because of these chips right here. So sorry if you don't live in Michigan. I don't know if they can get it, but I know they're at Kroger. But anyway, this is I'm going back to the 2012 me. Like I said, like 12, you know, 12 years ago, I'm going back to that. I'm changing my lifestyle so I'm going to keep my videos up of, um, and this was the most liquidy sauce that I've ever made, but I don't know. I made another one since then. It was delicious, but this one was also delicious. But anyway, you're going to see the old me coming back and, but it's the new me. And, uh, I'm going to try at the end of this video to show you, um, what I looked like in the beginning of January. It's not a huge change because like I said, I only lost 10 pounds, but um, I'm going to show you what I looked like in the beginning of January and then what I looked like in the beginning of February. You'll be able to see the changes in my back and in my stomach and stuff like that. But any anyway, thank you guys so much for still being here with me and also thank you for being here for my future journey um and if you made it this far can you do me a favor and like this video um subscribe maybe even leave leave a comment um i'm all for encouragement nowadays but thank you all for watching and i'm just going to show you what the end product is of these nachos and then I'm going to show you the before and after a video of me in uh from January to February. Thanks for watching. Okay. Here is the before me. I believe this was uh maybe around February 7th. Uh, I'm sorry, January 7th. You see my um, belly, the way it's sticking out at the top. Um, my, I've always, well, I've, I've always had a big backside, but this joker is, <laughs> is huge and it has um, dimples and I don't like the, that there. I used to have like a heart shape. It doesn't look like that anymore. So this is what I'm trying to get rid of. You see those love handles? I've never had those. And I also have the back fat. But let me show you what I look like one month later. Sorry, this is actually uh, like a week and a half, two weeks later. Now, I just want you to see 
I tried to put on the same kind of outfit, but see the top of my stomach is gone. Um, my back, I have those lines in the top, but it's going on. But this is only like a week and a half. Now I'm going to show you what I look like um, one month from the beginning. Now, look at this. You could tell the hips going down, love handles, the uh the belly, even even my bottom is is uh it's still there, but <laughs> look at those love handles. See those lines in my back? They're they're going away. And this is all from eating like how I just showed you. Not like like necessarily that every day, but hey, it's working. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.